Hey y'all, um, good afternoon. You know, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys how faithful God is. Let me tell you, He's faithful, okay? Because when I think of who I am and who I used to be and what I used to be about, and when I think of all the times I wasn't stunting God, and he was stunting me, you know, he was always looking out for me. I can say that God is faithful. Um, if you are on your last dime, he is faithful. He's a provider. He's a good father. You know, I always say to God that, you know, I felt so unaffirmed because I didn't have my father in my life. And, you know, I've just been asking God to affirm me as my father, you know, be for me what I feel like I always wanted. And let me tell you something. When I say that he has gone above and beyond what I could even ask or think, he has proven himself to be a God that is trustworthy. He has proven that he's not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Listen, let me tell you something. I remember a time in my life not too long ago when I didn't have any hope and I didn't think anything good could come of my life. I didn't think that I could turn around. I didn't think that things could get any better. I didn't I didn't think um I didn't think that I would ever be able to make some hope. I never thought I could, but when I tell you that Jesus is a redeemer of all things, when I tell you that he will redeem the times for you, I'm telling you he'll redeem it for you. Y'all, like, I thought my life was over a couple of years ago. You know, like, I always wanted to go into the military. That was my dream. And I got in a car accident. Because, you know, I was drinking and driving, and I was partying, and I couldn't go. And so many things happened as a result of that night. And when I tell you that God has completely blown my mind with how he has been there for me since, when I tell you that even with my current job, he has blown my mind and exceeded my expectations, I want to let you know that no matter what your life looks like, if it looks like you are a, at a dead end, I'm telling you there is no dead end because I'm standing in the job that I couldn't, I couldn't get back this job when I got into my accident because I was sitting on two felonies because I was drinking and driving. And when I tell you that God gave me back the same job with more pay than I had before, and not only that, like he has given me so much favor, even in my workplace, even with my supervisors, I'm telling y'all, like the blessings of God, they add no sorrow. He makes us rich. He gives us a name. By attaching his name to us, he makes us great, and he does great things if you could only trust him. Because like a couple years ago, I would I would have never have thought that I would have been here. I would have never have thought that God would have turned me around, that God would have taken all the hate and the anger and the hurt out of my life. I never thought he was going to do it. I never thought that I was anybody enough for him to do it. And even, even, even with my church, with, with, with my leadership, with, with everything, he has blessed me abundantly. Even in my marriage, he has blessed us abundantly. And I'm telling y'all, y'all just believe this man, Christ Jesus. Listen, when I tell you that this man right here, he the truth, I'm telling you, he is the truth. There is nothing too difficult for God to do. When I looked at my life and I thought I thought that I was going to be a nothing forever. When I tell you that God showed me that he could make a light work and a quick work, if I just believe in him, I'm telling you, 
that he has does it that he has done it and he will continue to do it and you know there are just so many things and so many areas in my life that he is blessing me in and I'm just just overwhelmed I'm just overwhelmed by the goodness of Jesus I am overwhelmed at the fact that I was ready to throw my whole life away so many times and that he would look past that and still just remind me that he had a future for me and an expected end for me. For me, I was I was nobody. And he continues to confirm to me that I'm somebody worth dying for. So, you know, I just want to let y'all know today that you guys are worth dying for. Um, you're worth it. And no matter what people say, no matter what the law says, the government may say, no matter, you know, the ditch you find yourself in, dig again. Dig yourself out. Let God pull you up out of whatever you've gotten yourself into. Because when I tell you that he does not care, baby, he don't care. He don't care. He said that, you know, my one of my favorite scriptures is in Isaiah when he says, even if a mother forgets the baby that they give birth to, he says he will never forget us because our walls are ever before him. And, you know, I'm, I'm just grateful to God. That's just it. I'm just grateful to him. Let me tell you, when you ain't got nobody in the world, you got Jesus, and he knows exactly what to do. And, you know, it's funny because I used to look at this situation that I had gone through, and I used to say, God, this is terrible. But it is so wonderful to me to know that he uses this to bring himself glory. He used something so shameful for me to bring himself glory. He used something so embarrassing to show out for me, to let people know that I still got her and she's still mine and she still belongs to me. And man, I'm telling you, he is worth it every time. That's why I'll serve him till I die. And even after I die, I know I'm going to be in heaven serving in him because he's a good father. He is a good father. Father, I'm telling y'all, he's a good daddy, man. Take it from me. I never knew what a real daddy was. And this man right here, <clears throat> he is a, he's legit. He's legit. He is too legit to quit. He is legit. So I'm just telling y'all, man, I don't care what you're going through. I, I... I don't care. There's nothing, nothing that is too difficult for God. If you in prison, he could take you out. You on patrol, parole, he could take you out. You homeless, he could give you a home. He could give you a home. You don't have nobody, he can give you somebody. I'm speaking from experience. He can do it for you because he did it for me. And I'm just encouraging you guys today that there is nothing too difficult for our God. There is nothing at all. I've seen him do the impossible. And I'm telling you that if you want somebody to turn your life around, this man, Jesus, he will turn your life around. Anyways, I love y'all. I'm on my lunch break, and I'm not trying to lose this job. Jesus bless me with. But I love y'all. Y'all try Jesus. Let him show off for y'all.